Continuing to field questions for you, Similarly, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, should we be worried if we have bad scores on offline NBMEs 20 through 24 for step one, or should we just use them to memorize? Look, I've made many clips talking about how to go through 20 through 30. I will address your question here, give you some specifics. How should you score on 20 through 24? How does that affect your prep? Should you go straight into the online forms? Should you take a step back, go through more UWorld, etc.? Give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we started, please subscribe my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So students asking if he or she has shitty scores on offline NBMEs 20 through 24, um, what should he or she do? And as well as... Uh, should he use them, he or she use them to just memorize. Look, uh, as I have articulated in prior clips, for offline NBMEs 20 and 21, when you start those, if you're not breaking 60% correct, I don't want you wasting 22 through 24. I want you taking a step back and I want you going back through your UWorld incorrects, not a second pass of UWorld, your UWorld incorrects. I recognize that it's never going to be umbrella or cookie cutter for every student that uh, there's going to be uh, differences. However, in general, you're going to finish UWorld, and then you're going to do offline NBME 20 and 21. If you're above 60%, fine. We can have you move into 22 through 24. I want you sitting above two-thirds to pass USMLE, okay? So two-thirds, if you're below two-thirds correct, you're borderline, okay? You're in the danger zone somewhat. So 20 and 21, if you are scoring 60 to 65%, we can still have you move to 22 through 24. You're gonna do those, you're gonna memorize, you're gonna screenshot your incorrects into the front card of Anki, the back card is just gonna be the letter of the answer, and you're going to uh, compile one giant Anki deck of your incorrects, not separate decks, okay? So you're gonna have uh, just a big NBME deck, all of your incorrects in there, and as you study each exam, you're gonna layer, you're gonna study ahead all those Anki cards. So I want you memorizing all the NBME questions. Yes, memorizing. It's a long fucking discussion. Okay, I've made plenty of clips. You can just literally search on, search on YouTube, Melman Medical, memorize NBMEs. I've made like seven fucking clips talking about how to memorize, why you should memorize, etc. But what you're gonna do is 20 through 24, and as I just fucking said, if you're scoring below 60% on 2021, 20 you're going to go back to your old incorrects. If you're above 60%, we can have you go through the rest of the offline forms 20 through 24. Then you're going to do free 120. Then you're going to do the online forms 25 through 30, okay? If a student is borderline, let's say, scoring low 60s on the offline forms and then goes into uh, form 25 online to start after the free 120, and fails it, I say, we're taking a step back, we're going to UWorld Incorrects, okay? I don't want students failing any online NBMEs, okay, especially within the final month, which is when you should be seeing them anyway. If a student fails an online NBME, I just take a giant step back and say, we're going through UWorld Incorrects right now. So once again, you're gonna be screenshotting all of your Incorrects in Anki, and you're gonna be memorizing not just every question from 20 through 30, but you're gonna be making sure you know your incorrects especially. Um, the assiduous memorization, it's not just the fact that you can get repeats on your real deal, but recognize that you're loading all of that NBME content into your pre-conscious state. So even if you don't see identical slash exact repeats on your real deal, when you see novel questions you haven't encountered before, you're not sure, you're able to extract from your pre-conscious knowledge and say, well, no fucking idea what the answer is, but I may have seen something similar on NBME 26, so I'm just going to go with B. That's the value of memorizing the NBMEs, okay? I, I articulate this as the latter part of this video here because some students, uh, they tend to adhere to this notion that it's not a good idea to memorize the NBMEs if they're only going to get a few repeats max, okay? I've had students get 10 repeats, I've said. I've had students get very few repeats, but independent of the exact number of repeats, it's loading that info into your pre-conscious state, which is going to help with your gut instincts on questions you don't know. You know the deal, Nick, to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.